This video is brought to you by Nate Productions. Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. During this tutorial I'll be showing you the best and easiest way to add bullet holes to your game for your FPS or your shooting game. So in my scene I have this weapon that you can see here with some rotation for my camera which I implemented in a previous tutorial and if you want to check that out I'll link that in the description and I won't be showing you how to do that in this video. I'll be showing you how to implement this. So when you're shooting a bullet and collides with an object or a wall, it will create this uh, very simple um, a bullet hole, as you can see here, and it works in any object, in any angle. As you can see, I can shoot on the floor, on the box here, and regardless of the angle, it will shoot as you would expect. Okay, so let's get into it. First of all, you will need to use the URP, uh, so the Universal Render Pipeline, in order to get access to the decals. And decals are essentially, give us the, a way for us to uh, spawn these little uh, sprites and material as you saw here. So uh, the first thing that you need after using the URP is going to the settings and find the URP uh, High Fidelity Renderer. And under here, you'll find the at render future, which is essentially will allow you to add the decal. I already have it uh, attached to my renderer, so I, I can actually find it here. But just add that and you're good to go. And the uh, second thing that I'll we'll need is going to create an object. So create an empty game object. I will call this decal. And then I will find the decal projector which is this. So what is a decal projector exactly? It will project a material with a texture on it into any surface within its range. So you can see the range here, it's a box essentially, and everything that is inside this box, it will project uh, the texture that is attached to the material. The default material for the decal is this white uh, sprite essentially. You can see that even on the corners, it smoothly uh, covers the surface of my mesh. So that is very good and very efficient, very easy for us to use. So you can see that uh, when I move the box further away from the uh, box here, it fades, it doesn't exist. If I rotate it, for example, and bring it closer, you can see that it reappears and uh, it disappears from the bottom. So uh, what you will do is find the texture that you want. I use this bullet, a very simple texture that I made by myself just a black uh, circle and that is all and create a material so right click put material uh, create and then material so just find the material here and then it's created into your scene and then you'll go to the shader here and then search for decal and find the first one here so it's in the shader graphs uh, under the shader graphs and it's decal and then in the base map, you will need to provide a texture. So I will provide my bullet here, and that is it. And you also need to reduce the normal blend to zero. Otherwise, if I were to, let's say, for example, in my decal object here, attach this, you will see this white uh, around my uh, box, around my circle, which is not what you want. And if you were to decrease this, you'll see that this will disappear. So perfect. This is what you want, and of course, I will just reset this uh, transform, something like that. Anyway, I'll just delete this because I already made the game object. So uh, the game object is here, and you can see that it's much smaller than it was before. And of course, the game object is not rotating when I spawn it here. It's done through the script. So uh, because the rotation is not corresponding to the texture. It's not working as you would expect here, but when we run the game, it actually does correspond, correspond because it rotates it based on the collision. So as you can see, it's a circle. And just to show you how it affects the rotation, if I were to rotate it around, you will see that it again turns into a circle. So rotation does matter for this case, and it's really important. And okay, okay so. Let's go to my script here. So my shooting script is this, and it's exactly the same as it was before, but the only change that I've added is 
essentially a game object that will be spawning i call this a deco and i supply the value through the inspector so i i save some time in explaining this and then when it actually hits something if it's not the enemy it means it's something else you can uh, specify what you want the decal to be spawned at so maybe it will only be spawning on ground on wall and whatever so you can specify whatever you want need here and then you will instantiate this object at the position of the, the hit so where the bullet hits and then it'll give it uh, no uh, rotation and then parent the, uh, make this a child of the object that it hits so if the object is moving it will move with it and also in order to confide with the rotation based on where it hits it will look rotation based on the normal of the hit so regardless of where it hits on what surface it will get the corresponding normal and look towards that and this will save us the pain that you saw in the here so it won't have any un unresolved and unpredictable uh, results so this is it essentially and just to show you my script here so it's attached to my shooting script and i have attached the uh, de uh, decal bullet hole and that is it and before i go just to uh, show you the script this attached to the actual game object of the decal so it's attached to this and only thing that it does when the decal is enabled it will destroy itself after five seconds so that is it a very simple tutorial and i think a very useful one if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and if you have want anything more specific about this make sure to comment below anyway goodbye and thank you want to become a professional game developer i designed the ultimate game development course that will teach you everything you need to make your own top quality games with over 20 hours of content and 100 lectures at your disposal, make sure to check the link in the description for more information.